Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a dark but important topic. 10 signs you have an evil person in your life. Now, before you go running for the hills and accusing everyone you know of being a villain, let me clarify. Evil is a spectrum and not everyone who exhibits a few of these signs is a mustache twirling megalomaniac. But certain red flags can indicate someone has unhealthy or harmful tendencies. Recognizing these signs can empower you to protect yourself and make informed decisions about the people you keep close to. 10 Signs You Have an Evil Person in Your Life I know this topic may sound a bit dramatic, but it could be a real eye-opener. Having an evil person in your life can be an incredibly damaging and traumatic experience. Such individuals are often adept at hiding their true intentions and masking their dark nature, making it hard to identify and avoid them. And while the term evil is subjective, certain behaviors universally signal a harmful presence. Recognizing these signs is the first step in protecting yourself. Now, it's crucial to remember that being aware of these signs isn't about labeling people recklessly or living in fear, it's about being informed and prepared. So let's explore the subtle yet significant indicators that suggest you may be dealing with someone wicked. Number one, everything always revolves around them. A hallmark of a malevolent person is extreme narcissism, a trait that involves an inflated sense of self-importance and a lack of concern for others' needs. Dealing with someone like this can feel like being in the shadow of a giant ego. It's all about them, their needs, their achievements, their drama. Conversations are one-sided and your opinions are completely disregarded. Their sense of entitlement and expectation of special treatment can be rather overwhelming. In relationships, this often results in your needs being ignored or trivialized as their desires and interests take precedence, leading to an imbalanced and unhealthy dynamic. Number two, you constantly feel manipulated. Do you feel like you're constantly being pushed into choices that just don't sit right with you? That's manipulation at its finest. An evil person views people as a means to serve their interests, showing little care for how their actions may negatively impact others. They are very good at playing emotional games, using guilt, sympathy or flattery to control their targets. They have a knack for bending situations and even making you doubt your own decisions. It's like you're never really in control of your own life because they're always subtly steering you toward what they want. Number three, there's a consistent trend of dishonesty. One of the most common traits of an evil or malicious person is a pattern of deceitfulness. They're experts at deception and know how to disguise lies within half-truths. They often present manipulated versions of events to portray themselves in a positive light or like they are the ones being wronged. When caught in a lie, they frequently become hostile or try to deflect blame onto others. If someone close to you chronically lies, covers up the truth, or secretly does things that violate your trust, you should be very cautious. Number four, you can never really predict their next move. Does it seem like this person is always up to something? Whether it's for personal gain, to outmaneuver someone or just to stir the pot for their amusement, they're constantly plotting and scheming. Evil people often display a keen ability to strategize or weave complex webs of deceit, demonstrating a certain cunningness in their actions. This plotting isn't just a sporadic activity, it's a fundamental part of their nature. They derive satisfaction not just from the outcomes of their schemes, but from the process of scheming itself. So, if you're dealing with someone like this, it's worth taking a step back. Number five, there's a clear absence of remorse. It's really strange and disturbing when someone doesn't seem to feel bad about doing something wrong, especially when it's clear they've hurt someone. They mess up, sometimes big time, and act as if nothing happened. No genuine apology, no sincere regret. This can lead to a pattern of behavior where they repeat harmful actions without any apparent moral or ethical conflict, making it challenging to feel emotionally safe or valued around the person. Overall, the apparent absence of empathy or guilt in someone who hurts people is a giant red flag. Number six, you feel isolated because of them. One of the more concerning signs of having an evil person in your life is that you start to feel isolated from others because of their influence. They may actively work to undermine your other relationships like friends and family. It's a control tactic, plain and simple. They're building a wall around you, brick by brick, cutting you off from your support system, it's daunting because the more isolated you are, the more power they have over you. And that's exactly what they want. Number seven, your boundaries are disregarded. 
It could be showing up unannounced, going through your stuff or making decisions for you. A disregard for your boundaries is another major red flag that shouldn't be overlooked. At its core, this behavior is indicative of a profound lack of respect for the individuality and autonomy of others. It often stems from a desire to control or dominate, reflecting an attitude that the personal space and preferences of other people are secondary to one's wishes and whims. Not only does this blatant disrespect for boundaries invade privacy, it also makes you feel violated and overpowered. Number 8. You are intimidated or bullied by them. Evil people like to use fear as a tool, keeping you in line with threats or aggressive behavior. It is a power play, designed to make you feel small and helpless. Be it words, actions, or just their presence, intimidation and bullying are forms of abuse, and being on the receiving end is downright scary. It's like you're constantly under threat, feeling trapped and always on guard, a terrible place to be in. You need to recognize these behaviors for what they are, as their impact on your mental and emotional well-being can be highly detrimental. Number 9. You frequently catch them taking pleasure in the misfortune of others. Have you noticed how they seem to light up at others' failures? As if they're almost too happy hearing about someone else's bad luck or hard times. This characteristic reflects a deep-seated malevolence and a lack of compassion. Observing the twisted sense of satisfaction one gets from others' struggles is weird and deeply unsettling. It's particularly alarming if this behavior is consistent and directed toward people they know personally. Number 10. You can never please them. An evil person simply cannot be satisfied. No matter what you do for them, even if you're bending over backward to meet their demands, they're still not happy. They could have everything they ask for, but it's never enough. It's not just about being hard to please. It's like they have this bottomless pit of discontent. And when you're dealing with them, it feels like you're stuck in a loop, trying to fill an endless void of expectations that just can't be filled. While no single characteristic definitively proves evil intent, when these behaviors occur in combination and to extreme degrees, they can signify something more sinister. If someone consistently makes you feel confused, scared, manipulated or bad about yourself, don't ignore it. Trust your instincts and take protective steps for yourself. Start setting firmer boundaries or limiting contact if possible. Reach out to a friend or counselor you trust and get the help of authorities if needed for your safety. With support, you can shield yourself from an evil person's harmful influence. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified of our next post. Also, to learn more about many other interesting topics, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.